G'day, welcome to Ben's Lab. My name's Ben, I'm your host. Just uh, doing one of my uh, never ending bug hunts today, and I thought I'd uh, take you along. This little wander through some Australian bushland, and we'll see what we can find in some bushes and trees, and we'll uh, do a little bit of learning at the same time. So, let's play What's That Bug here on Ben's Lab. The last time scientists took a really good hard look, there were estimated to be 1 million described species of insects, representing more than half of all known organisms alive today. However, the number of species believed to exist is probably between 6 and 10 million. Now that is plenty to keep a bug hunter busy. It's fun uncovering them, and sometimes when you least expect it, you find a real surprise. Like this little guy. Looking more like an overused toothbrush than an insect, this is actually the larval or baby form of the mealybug ladybird, native to Australia. Interesting fact, this larva is an example of an organism that uses aggressive mimicry. This is a ploy used by many species whereby deception is used to trick or ambush prey. In this case, the real mealybug is the favourite prey of the mealybug ladybird, so disguising larva in this way allows the ladybird to get close to its dinner. Nasty. Beetles are far and away the largest insect group, with about 400,000 known species. Beetles make up 25% of all animal species. They have a huge diversity of roles in the environment, from feeding on plants and fungi, breaking down and recycling plant and animal debris, and eating other invertebrates, or being eaten themselves. Beetles are actually so abundant that it was either Charles Darwin or the statistician J.B.S. Haldane who stated that God must be inordinately fond of beetles. Who did say this? Let me know in the comments. You will always find something new. One bush is like a small country or a city with bug traffic and activity. This bush was loaded with shield bugs and these here crusader bugs. They get that name from the cross-like pattern on their back. Crusader bugs are found across the Indo-Pacific region from Indonesia, Australia and the Pacific Ocean. Shield bugs possess stink glands, which produce a foul smelling liquid used to deter predators. Sometimes they'll let you have it when they're being handled. Lucky for me, they didn't mind me snooping around. I haven't found out what they smell like yet, and I don't really plan on finding out. My wife will kick my butt. Damselflies resemble dragonflies and live near streams or water, using water to breed as mosquitoes do. They are very hard to film, and you need to be very, very quiet and move very slowly to film them. Once I'd move, and whoop, off they go. This damselfly had wet wings, so I was treated to a real show here. Those legs aren't really suited to walking. The damselfly uses them more as a sort of cage or net, capturing prey such as mosquitoes in flight. Check out that alien looking head. The damselfly has an additional three simple eyes, seen here, which may be used to measure light intensity. These two simple antenna here are not used to smell as many other insects by moths, but may be used to measure airspeed. Dams of flies are extremely nimble in flight, completely outmaneuvering me as I try to film them. I'll keep on trying. Like so, if you guys love bugs, they're a lot of fun, aren't they? And uh, they're a ton of fun to find. And uh, I'd spend all day doing it if I could, but uh, you know, work and bills and stuff. But um, if you like bugs, want to share the love, want to share the conversation, uh, send in a comment below and um, we'll have a chat. Love to hear from you. See you next time.